So, <laughs> Rainbow Tables. Um, we're here to talk about, and this is like a one of those funny security terms, like that uh, the name barely has a connection with uh, um, the concept, but the idea of a rainbow table is, um, you know, it's particularly difficult to defeat cryptography. And if you've built um, solid cryptography, cryptography and cryptographic pra practices, it's uh, it's impossible to to, to break. Um, however. Um, sometimes cryptography is not built to be break proof. Sometimes it's just built to slow down a comp computation operation. Um, as an example, um, in, um, in Bitcoin, we have this concept of mining. And the idea behind mining is simply to create a slow cryptographic operation. Um, the fact that you went through the slow process um, sort of... Um, uh, is considered your your proof of work, and uh, you're you're rewarded for that. Um, but there's other examples of this. So, um, in password management, uh, it's been uh, best practice since the '90s, at the very least, to uh, hash a bunch of passwords, um, and that's so um, where you have a directory of a bunch of user accounts. Um, it, rather than storing the plain text of the passwords, you simply store this one-way cryptographic hash. However, it is possible to brute force um, those hashes. What that means is, um, if you get if you get a copy of the password file, um, you can simply run every possible password across those hashes um, to figure out what everyone's password is. And if you get a hold of a um, a uh, encrypted password file, you can sort of crunch with it and then come back and basically have a list of everyone's passwords, which is um, defeats the purpose of, of encrypting the passwords. So um, to defeat that, we use salts. And the reason we use salts is because of this thing called a, a rainbow table. Um, rather than um, running these cryptographic operations against every possible password for each user, it's possible to actually have a list of every possible hash um, and the corresponding password. Um, and it's a really big file. Um, if you've got simple simple cryptography, um, the really big file could actually fit on a desktop PC these days, right? So if you're using um, if you're using hashing from maybe 10, 20 years ago and you haven't salted those passwords, it's it's really like an iPad these days can can go through that rainbow table, pick out all the passwords and return them.